Welcome to the Growing Dentist by Dr. Ali. Before we start with this video, kindly like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. In this lecture, we will discuss about scaling and root planning. Myths and questions individuals frequently have regarding scaling. Scaling and root planning otherwise known as deep cleaning in dentistry. Scaling is when your dentist removes all the plaque and tartar that can adhere to your teeth above and below the gum line, making sure to clean all the way down to the bottom of the pocket. Your dentist will then begin root planning, smoothing out your teeth roots to help your gums reattach to your teeth. Let's see how scaling procedure is performed. Alternately, your dentist may choose an ultrasonic instrument to scale your teeth. A vibrating metal tip on the scaler chips tartar off of your teeth above your gum line. A water spray on the scaler washes away the tartar and flushes plaque from the gum pockets. Your provider uses a manual dental scaler and scraping device, called as a curette, to remove small remaining pieces of tartar. The dentist may push you towards deep cleaning process, as deep scaling is only done when gum disease is present. Typically in the early stages of gum disease, damage can be reversed with a professional deep cleaning. The goal of deep scaling and root planning is to treat periodontitis or gum disease, causing the disease to go into remission. Laser dentistry is an alternative to deep cleaning. While it is something you can choose to avoid, you won't be able to fully get rid of your gum disease without some sort of intervention by a dental professional. There are some common myths regarding teeth scaling, such as, scaling is a painful procedure. Contrary to popular belief, scaling is a virtually painless process, with the patient feeling a mild scraping sensation on the teeth when the scaling is taking place. You will experience discomfort upon completion, but the actual process can be completed with the administration of a local anesthetic to the soft tissue to minimize any unpleasant feelings during the process. If the patient cooperates, dental scaling of human teeth can be performed by a professional trained and the procedure can be completed successfully without anesthesia. Some people believe that scaling makes the teeth sensitive. With the onset of gum disease, the gaps between the tooth are filled with tartar. When this tartar is removed by scaling, the teeth gets exposed to the oral environment and become moderately sensitive. In most cases, this sensitivity vanishes in a couple of days. Some people ask whether scaling causes gaps between the teeth to increase, the answer is no. Scaling doesn't create new spaces or gaps among teeth. When the gum disease is progressing at a moderate level, the usual gaps between the teeth get filled by tartar which forms on the teeth. After scaling, when the harmful tartar fillings are removed from the teeth, patient feels that the gaps between the teeth have increased. Another most common myth is that scaling weakens the teeth and makes them lose. However, this is not the case. Scaling removes the elements deposited on the teeth that eventually lead to gum disease. When these elements are removed from the teeth, one feels the teeth weakened and lose. Scaling does not weaken the teeth, as they are already made weak by the deposit of elements like calculus and plaque. These bulky plaque stones hold the teeth for the time being by replacing the gum from its position. On the removal of these elements around the teeth, the mobile and affected tooth becomes more visible. Will teeth tighten after scaling? Yes they do. After the removal of the buildup, your teeth can feel loose and like they are more likely to fall out. Despite that feeling of looseness, Removing this buildup helps your gums and roots reattach to your teeth, increasing the chances that they will be a part of your smile in the long term. Some people are afraid that scaling might hurt afterwards. After scaling and root planing there will be some discomfort or soreness in the gums. Our hygienist will recommend you to use an antiseptic mouthwash, or simply warm salty water, to swish around your mouth when you get home, and avoid eating hard food immediately after. Patients usually want to know that how long does scaling take to recover. After the scaling and root planing procedure, you may experience some tooth discomfort. This could last for a couple of weeks. Patients may also experience sensitivity to hot or cold foods and drinks, but this should improve within a matter of a few weeks. Is bleeding after scaling normal? With a good dental hygiene, bleeding gums should soon heal. 
If your gums continue to bleed more than a week or two after a professional cleaning, see your dentist for a more thorough evaluation of your periodontal and dental health. Some people wonder if scaling their teeth will eliminate the dark stains from their teeth. Scaling and polishing are used when the underlying reason for discoloration or darkness of teeth is extrinsic or surface staining. This can be remedied by simple scaling and polishing by a dental professional during which the extrinsic stains can be removed. What sort of a meal one should have after the procedure of cleaning? Firstly, you may eat as tolerated after the numbness has worn off. Foods such as soups, pasta, scrambled eggs, mashed potatoes, macaroni, and cheese etc. are best. Avoid spicy food. Be sure to maintain adequate nutrition, and drink plenty of fluids. Another question asked by patients is whether scaling procedure is able to whiten teeth. They also confuse scaling treatment with the teeth whitening procedures. Apart from educating on oral hygiene, the growing dentist team also helps people to understand dental procedures. A scale and polish is not primarily designed to whiten the teeth, as that is what teeth whitening treatments are for. With that said however, a scale and polish will in fact leave the teeth looking smooth, shiny, and whiter after the treatment. The disadvantages of deep cleaning teeth include nerve damage and potential infections if you have a compromised immune system. The cleaning might cause pain and sensitivity. This treatment doesn't guarantee reattachment of your gums to the teeth. What happens if you don't do scaling? With a buildup of plaque and tartar, with no professional cleaning from your teeth, cavities and gingivitis will begin to form. You will also develop bad breath. Another common question asked by the patient about the duration of the scaling procedure. Generally, the teeth scaling process can be completed in a single visit. In this visit, the process will take around 45 minutes to one hour for it to complete. However, if there is more plaque development then it can take two hours or multiple visits to complete. Things to be followed before leaving to the dental office for your scaling procedure is to clean the mouth before the appointment. Brushing teeth and disinfecting the mouth with an antiseptic mouthwash helps reduce the risk of infection. Bacteria is transferred into the patient's blood during the procedure, so keeping bacteria populations in the mouth to a minimum lowers the risk of infection. Individuals with healthy teeth and gums only need a regular dental checkup and cleaning twice a year, however, Depending on the severity of your periodontitis, your dentist may recommend scaling and root planing, also known as a deep cleaning, at least twice a year or more. For maintaining a good oral hygiene, brush your teeth gently. Make a habit of using wax-coated dental floss, especially before going to the bed. Rinse your mouth with salt water, as it helps to soothe gums. Do not neglect your dental appointments. For any questions or advice, feel free to write down to us. The Growing Dentist team is always there to help you out. Thank you for watching this video. For questions or queries, kindly write us in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel for more interesting videos of dentistry.